Hey everyone, Jordan here from That Car Life and we're here with That Car Life support. And today we're taking the S15 to its first car meet with the new mods. All right guys, so I just got the car warming up and if you guys haven't seen the last video, I'll link it up here. We got the car back from Dusky Customs and it did an absolutely amazing job transforming the S15. So we've got the headlights sanded and re-clear coated. We've got a vertex front bar, which looks absolutely awesome. And then at the back of the car, I'll show you guys the changes. So we've also got a 326 wing that's been put on the car and the rear bar has been fully resprayed. We've gotten the reflectors deleted and the hole in the rear bar deleted as well. Um, Dusky also fixed some paint fade I had on my rear quarter. This has been re-cleared, re um, which is awesome. And yeah, pretty much overall, the car just looks so, so different. Like it still has the hail damage, which is the, one of the biggest things holding it back right now. Um, which you can see when you walk like up close to the car. But yeah, since the weather cleared up, I figured it's a perfect opportunity. Let's just go to a car meet, enjoy the night. And we'll take the S15 now and we'll enjoy the Silvia with its brand new look. Sorry guys, it's really dark in the car, so we've got iPhone lighting at the moment. <laughs> so bear with us. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be heading down to the Feast and the Furious car meet. I've gone a couple times before on the Silvia, so um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to go again now that the Silvia's got, you know, its new mods and the new look and everything like that. So yeah. Basically, if you don't know what Feast and the Furious is, it's basically like a massive car meet. There's uh, food trucks everywhere, all that kind of stuff. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool, mate. Um, but yeah, we'll head down. I've got the GoPro up here. We'll film some of the driving. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get down to the meet. Turbo merch. Yeah, yeah so J, J Turbo merch. Um, yeah. J Turbo detailing. I run a few things. That's 
That's awesome, bro. And you've yeah. been you've been killing it for so long, bro. And you started it when you were 15, was that right, or younger? Uh, merch, I started 14. Yeah. yeah. Just as a little side hustle, you know. So that's sick, bro. You need to make money on the side, never give up. <laughs> Be creative, yeah. That's it, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got a sick Chrysler as uh, well? CL, yeah. CL, yeah, that's CL mad. Yeah. So we'll show off that, yeah. that car later um, when we'll, we we'll have a walk around. But um, yeah, J Turbo is killing it. If you need any detailing, merch, yeah. any of that stuff, Let me know. I'll link it all here. Yeah, yeah. Hit up J Turbo, it's yeah. absolute legend. Thanks, thanks. It's absolutely packed tonight. There's people everywhere, food trucks everywhere. Um, it's normally like not as busy like most times that I've come here before in the past. Um, but yeah, there's heaps of variety. You get to see all the cool cars. You have a lot of options basically to choose from when you want to eat. So yeah, as you can see, heaps of variety, heaps of people. So pretty cool event. Guys, right, that car life support went hard. What did, what did you get? So I think this is a garlic bread and I got cheese added and garlic honey. Yum. So I'm really excited to try this. Can, can I try one of those? Of course. Yeah. And then this is called a fat burger. Oh, I see why that's called a fat burger. I could have got a cheeseburger, but I wanted to be fat. I'm excited, guys. So that car sport's gonna have a feed. I'm gonna try one of these little garlic bread things. We'll do another walk around, and um, I'll try and film some of the cars leaving as well. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So they're doing the awards now. So there's no music blasting and everything. We're definitely not gonna win anything. Yeah, we're not gonna. We might win um, the best hail damaged S15 or the most hail damaged car. We might win that. And we've had this beautiful Hondas pull up next to us. This really clean EK Civic and a really clean EJ Civic as well. And if you guys don't know, I used to uh, own an EJ Civic and it had a it had a DC2 Type R engine swap in it, uh, my one, and mine was silver. Um, I'll put up some photos of my one here. Um, it was absolutely amazing, one of the finest cars I've owned. And um, yeah, I also had a DC2 Integra, it's my first car, so yeah, I absolutely love Hondas. So seeing these parked next to the S15, um, you know, it makes me really happy. It makes me wish they were mine, to be honest. And we had like a DC2 with us as well, but yeah, still, it's a lot of fun. As you can see, the event um, is, it's probably the busiest I've ever seen it, especially with the food trucks. So there's so many people, completely packed as well. So guys, we're doing a bit of a walk, and um, this Golf is so stance, like, this thing just brings me back to like 2013 to 15, that era of car culture and what was in fashion at the moment. That was when Stance really came out and you know, it just kind of reminds me of that. Like, I don't know if you guys remember that time, you know, but this is what this car reminds me of. This kind of Stance isn't everyone's cup of tea, but it's definitely something um, that's, you know, you can appreciate, I guess. It looks like it's on bags. Um, or at least I hope so. I don't know if he can do that static, but yeah, very very clean. And um, Takumi Fujiwara is here as well, just delivering some tofu. I think the tofu shop is at the uh, the Feast and Furious as well. So as you can see, we've got the AE86 here, almighty 4AGE engine, and you can't have a 86, you know, AE86 without the uh, initial D tofu shop stuff on the side. So very very clean car. All right, so these VLs are pretty famous in Sydney, um, but. You know, this thing is absolutely off its head. Very, very big power. I'm pretty sure this was in my Matux Racing Open Day video. If it is, I'll put it here. I'm 90% sure I saw this on a dyno. A very, very good car. And, um, you know, looking at the plates, who next? If you're wondering who's next, it's this one right here. Absolutely very, very clean. I'm not sure if this thing's turbo or not. Oh, yeah. It's got a turbo right there. So... Yeah, I'm not sure how he's doing the whole turbo thing on the P's, but um, you know, I'm sure this thing doses like an absolute pigeon. Yeah, very, very clean these two. The interior on these is just so nice, eh? Like the red leather and everything like that. And it's crazy that these, these things came out in the 60s, but the interior is so much nicer than most cars that came out today. Um, yeah, these things are just way ahead of their time, straight up. These like fastback Mustangs, just, or just the 60s Mustangs in general. Guys, we've got some GTRs here. We've got a 34 GTR and a 33 GTR as well. This one's a big single uh, RB26, so probably making 600 plus horsepower, I'm just guessing, but most likely is. This one here looks like it's a twin turbo. So yeah, RB26 twin turbo. Very, very clean, both of these GCRs. This FD RS7 is so clean too. Honestly, this thing is really growing on me. I've always loved the FDs, of course. Seeing Zach Boldy, you know, in his two RX-7s that he's had and the one that he has at the moment, it's really made me fall in love with these even more. They're just so clean and really fun and they just sound amazing. Here's this beautiful HQ we filmed earlier leaving. This thing is so nice. There's a very clean S14 leaving as well now, guys.
guys, I'm sitting here on this on this barrier over here, and um, I think we're gonna get some good content of some cars leaving, so I'm pretty excited. Here we've got a beautiful R33 GTR. <laughs> Those are the two that we saw earlier. They sound really, really nice. We've got a GT pulling up in um, a VO RX-7. VN. This is so cool. Sounds really mean as well, guys. So nice. Lexus. Turbo, not bad. Here's a nice Cortina. Good variety guys, a lot of JDM, a lot of muscle, a whole bunch of variety. Here's the Evo. Yeah, that was off its head. That was a bit cheeky, right next to us. <laughs> Expecting that from the uh, from the year. Wow, this thing's awesome. That sounded fat, guys. I'm currently live streaming this on the That Car Life TikTok. So if you want to see behind the scenes of That Car Life stuff, behind the scenes of the videos, check out the TikTok. Really nice rotary. Lane Corolla. Super in person. Those pops were like that, satisfying. Yeah, that actually <laughs> sounded so good. Man, I was mad. You like the new Supras now? Yeah, they're not bad. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's your fave. Um, guys, I'm taking over. That car supposed to take over the vlog. I'm gonna <laughs> grab our second GoPro because this one's low on battery. So we have an R32 over here. Has this been happening the whole time? <laughs> like, I'm sorry for you guys who had to watch this. No, this is a what GT. Is it's a GT. Um, All right, yeah. you, you got to know these two pulling up. Oh yeah, so this is a sexy fucking Skyline R34. GTR. This one's a GTR. So no, GTR. This one's also a GTR. That's an R33. That was a 
van that boat. <laughs> what was that? That was weird. Yeah, it's, um, got an LA stream. That's mad. So guys, if you think that I should take over the vlog, um, just comment down below and actually just like this video. And if you think she doesn't, also don't comment below. Um, just unsubscribe. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, we're chilling at the exit. No. That's not. <laughs> 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 this is bad. You know what? Try and name all the cars. <laughs> so this is a Ford Ranger. Um, it's a Raptor Ranger. I definitely didn't read the badge. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, by the way, if you like the, the shirt... Do you want me to like get yeah, going in front of the car? We'll um, if you like the shirt, we've got TCL on the front, S15 on the back. Um, this is going to come shortly. I don't know when, but if you guys like this kind of design, so let me know. This is but... a Club Sport Holden. <laughs> Yes, just interrupted my uh, shameless plug. But yeah, in the meantime, before these things drop, I'm putting on the uh, good old Banky Spec. Shout out to Rex H slash Banky Spec. Show him some love if you haven't already, but I'm sure you have because he's like massive. So. I actually know what that one is. It's a VK. <laughs> J Turbo was in heaven with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Vitamin C orange, nothing more better. Can't beat it. <laughs> and we've got like a custom, I don't even know what that is. J Turbo would know. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's good we have you here because you, your yeah, muscle yeah, knowledge yeah. is so much chopped better than mine. Yeah. Nice, yeah. I know a lot more, like, uh, I know like yeah, a lot of Japanese. Uh, oh, yes. Hit VTEC. <laughs> He actually did it. <laughs> oh, this GT is amazing. As a uh, horsepower addiction would say, Rami set up. Okay, guys, so I'm filming on the second GoPro. My other one died. But uh, we're here with J Turbo's beautiful uh, Chrysler. What's the full name of this, so of this car? It's a Chrysler CL Valiant. Yep. Uh, made it. June 1977. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I picked it up when I was 15. I've always loved the value. That's mad. Uh, so you got this when you were 15 years old. When I was 15, yeah. Wow. So, I work hard. so you said that you were um, you're in school still when you got this. Yeah, yeah. So like my last man, just finished. Thought I'd you know finish early. Yeah. Uh, get into like you know working and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's got me far. Like otherwise, if I did, if I was still in school, I wouldn't have had money. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all original too, right? Uh, about 80 percent of it's original. So. Wow. On it was actually repainted. Um, you can tell different colors. So that's two pack paint. That's acrylic based paint. Yeah. Uh, so I'm getting this on it redone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> you know. It's alright, bro. My car's got hail damage all over it. Like every car's got yeah, something. Yeah. Look, it gets driven, you know. But at least this thing's like original, so you, yeah, you know you've yeah, got that. Um, everything else is original. Yeah. Uh, all the frame. And the uh, interior is beautiful as well. The interior is pretty much all original, other than the dash that I remade. Yeah. Look, I did a bit of work experience as a motor trimmer. Yeah. So um, yeah, I uh, did my best to redo it. So yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't find anything. So I thought, exactly. Give it, give it a go. No. And yourself. Honestly, bro, you did it. You've done a really good oh, job. Really good. Like that's Thank that's really much. really clean. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, you don't really see many people your age driving in yeah, exactly. cars like this, yeah, like exactly. classic, classic vintage That's cars. Right, yeah. You know, so it's it's awesome, bro. You're keeping it alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I've always, well, I love all cars, right? Like yeah. Jap cars, JDM, um, Euro. Yeah. Uh, also the classic. Of course, there's a bit of I don't know. It's just. A, is this the build sheet? So it's the build sheet. Oh, awesome! It's all letters and numbers here. So CL series. Number, yep. Now what Chrysler did? It's a bit confusing. Yeah. So I'll be slow with it. Um, when it says CL8, it yep. means it's an inline six cylinder. Okay. okay so I got a 265 Hemi. Yeah. So eight means six. Yeah. And if you see CL6, uh, that means it's a V8. Oh, so okay. I don't know why Chrysler did that, but I was. It's a bit random. That. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> M's for medium price range. Yep. And 41 is for four door. So that's where it was sold. Yeah. In Lismore. Oh, wow. Uh, here's the trim. So it's a uh, uh, Saturn dark saddle. That's awesome, yeah. bro. I need something yeah. like this for the S15 yeah, or yeah, a full yeah. build sheet. Yeah. I'm sure that's there's sick. people who do it. Yeah. 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 That was so, actually uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I love it. No, was, that's you know, mad. Eh? Like being yeah. able to know the history of your car when it was bought, sold, especially like yeah. a car from the 70s, bro. Like that's yeah. that's cool yeah. to have that knowledge. It is. It is. But honestly, man, yeah, like. Your, your passion and like everything yeah, like that, it's really like spread onto your car as well. You can tell is, that you really yeah, yeah, love it, it and care about it. You're yeah, quite yeah, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, you're absolutely killing it, man. Yeah, and you're doing um, 
detailing yeah, now as detailing. well. And if you guys yeah. want to check out uh, Jay Turbo's uh, detailing stuff, I'll put all this stuff in the description. Yeah. The Instagram for it here. Yeah, and you yeah. also do stickers and merch as well. Yeah, yeah, so I do a bit of that. Um, awesome. Mainly focused on the detailing, so classic yeah. and prestige. I yeah. like, you know, I like to get some unique cars coming in. Um, message and I'll let you know when I'm free to do all that. Absolute legend. Oh yeah, start it up. Oh, no way. We're going to start off as well. <laughs> That's mad, bro. The old school yeah. six-cylinder sound. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's, it's like a nice good, rumble. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, um, yeah, loves to growl. You know, it's a it's, it's a quick car, four point three liter. Yeah, uh, it's a bit of a sleeper. You know? Bro, that's awesome, bro. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Sounds very good and yeah. perfect perfect car for your P plates. It is. It is. Yeah, I've always <laughs> wanted a car like this. Yeah. Feet, so, um, no, yeah. it's so good, bro. You're killing it. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I just met Hamish, and uh, this is his beautiful Lexus. Is it an IS? 250 all right and this thing is uh it's definitely not stock so <laughs> not stock so what, what's been done to it bro so it's got the lm uh, airbag suspension system from chaos racing oh nice so chaos racing yeah they, they did all of this they did the lines everything wow all installed engineered yeah just over eight grand wow bro so, uh, how long have you had the car for as well uh, about five months now, I bought it off my best mate. So. Yeah? So how long ago did you do the uh, the air setup? So my mate did it when I bought the car, so yeah. I, it's bought not built. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a dream to drive, it's so It good. would be, eh? And and what kind of, um, like going around the car, what kind of wheels have you got on this as well? Uh, so they're BBS LMs, they're reps. Yeah. Because um, I wasn't prepared to spend what, eight grand on wheels. Oh yeah, I can imagine. They look really good. I mean, I've got reps in my S15 as well, bro. Like yeah. those, well, we can't really see them here, but those are, are reps as well. And they do the same thing, bro. Yeah. Like, but yeah, rep wheels, bro. A lot of people complain and talk crap about rep wheels, but yeah. honestly, they just, they do the job. And I've, I've been running reps my whole life. Yeah. Never had any issues. And these look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And they really suit the car as well, man. Yeah. That looks good. And this is your Instagram as well? Yeah. AYR underscore 250. I'll put it here as well. Is this factory paint as well? Factory paint. That the uh, Exhibition only. Oh yeah, okay. So this is an Exhibition. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a very sparkly um, color. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Uh, and the front, you got a front lip on it as well. Yeah, the front lip. That needs a bit of touching up, but are they aftermarket headlights? Yeah, these ones? Uh, a -Land, uh, headlights. Oh yeah. So these are like LED there as well. Yeah. That's awesome, man. No, it's very, very clean. And I'm um, yeah, I'll put your Instagram here as well. So if anyone wants to check it out, we'll be there. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. We're just letting the S15 warm up. Um, yeah, we're pretty much like last people here. So cool. <laughs> Bro, the Lexus sounds so good. <laughs> and I've met so many of you guys tonight. Thank you for everyone who came up and said hello. And it was lovely to speak to all of you. And a lot of you said that you love the S15 and the new look. So I'm so happy to hear that you guys love how the Sylvia is looking at the moment um, and love all the new changes too. Um, yeah, it makes me feel a bit better about it. <laughs> Especially the 326 wing. A lot of you guys like it. So yeah, it was definitely a bit risky with the 326. But yeah, I'm glad a lot of you guys are really liking it. All right, guys, so we're just leaving now. We're literally the very last car here. So all like the food trucks and stuff are leaving now and that. <laughs> Priorities. Um, I think I think this is the first like feast and furious we've been to and we've actually stayed the whole night. Because I feel like all the other ones we've gone to, we've kind of just like left early. Yeah. Sorry guys, I don't know if you can see me or not, it's a bit dark here. But I hope you can. Hey guys, so it's about a week into the future and I'm just finishing editing the video and I realize I'm a bit of a dumbass because I forgot to film an outro. So um, yeah, overall, I had such a good time. Uh, it was a great event. It was absolutely packed. I've never seen Feast in the Furious that busy um, and with that many people there before. Um, the lines for food was just insane. Like, yeah, it was awesome to see it that packed and, you know, see the, see the car community and car culture really shine at its best so yeah it was awesome as i said i met heaps of awesome people as well uh and yeah had an awesome time and it was awesome to show off the s15's new look as well really hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did as always please make sure that you like comment subscribe all of that for more and i'll see you guys next time on that car life